Okay. So the title of the sermon is Witchcraft in the Churches. Okay. Not a very pleasant subject, but something we have to broach today. Now, let's begin in prayer. My Lord God Almighty, let the Holy Spirit fill this church today and bring us great understanding of your word. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. So, what does God say? In Jude, I will therefore put you in remembrance. Remember this. Though you once knew this, we don't want you to forget these things. How the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. So, what do we have? We have a comfortable cushion around some people that they believe, that's it, we can do whatever we want now because, you know, uh, we, you know we're, we believed once, so everything's okay. It's not. Notice this, the angels which kept not their first estate, they didn't stay where they were supposed to be. They left their habitation. He reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. God will punish angels. It's not, nobody gets away with anything. <laughs> if you do something wrong, you're going to find this out when you grow up, okay? Nobody gets away with everything. Everything you do will be found out. And there is no way to trick God. There's no way to get a good lawyer and get out of it. If he's going to punish everyone, notice that. Stay righteous. Now, how does, what has that got to do with witchcraft in the churches? Well, you're going to see. It was very hard to believe that there is witchcraft in the churches, but you're going to see the evidence. Obviously not this church. Okay. But these... Um, Let's see if I can get this clicker working for a minute. Do you remember the last one? Worked on pure faith. <laughs> oh, it was on and I turned it off. Okay, fine. Yes, you were right. Brilliant. Thank you, Marie. Okay, but these speak evil of those, those things which they know not. Okay, now how does that work? If you go and tell people the truth, they'll speak evil about you. You're unforgiving. You don't feel love. <laughs> You're too judgmental. They're speaking evil of the good things that you're saying. Okay? Because they don't know these things. They don't know right and wrong. They've got no clue. But what they know naturally as brute beasts... In those things they corrupt themselves. Woe to them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the error of Balaam for a wall and perished in the gainsaying of Korah. And I'll explain all that. Okay? As brute beasts, if we were do, notice what we're like, okay? If we were just brute beasts, we'd go out smashing up windows, doing what we want, beating people up, things like this. Some people do these things that they want to do naturally, okay? The grown-ups here will understand what I'm talking about, okay? In those things, they corrupt themselves. They do it to themselves. Now, the way of Cain. Cain didn't like uh, that, he's, that God liked uh, Abel's offering better than him, okay? He didn't like it. If you've got a decent church, a righteous church, it doesn't have to be a big one, could be one person in it, <laughs> okay? They don't like you because you're telling the truth. You're not joining their calls. You're not singing contemporary songs. You're not doing what they want. They recognize you as an enemy because you're actually following God. Your church is right. You are right. They don't want to hear what the Bible says. Well, the, I'm a Christian as well. What are the Ten Commandments? I don't know. Do you go to church? No. Yes, 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 I do. Once every two years. It's not the same. I see some stuff on Facebook. That's not a Christian. What do you do? <laughs> okay. 
Now, they will turn against you even though, that, though you're their brother. They will go the way of Cain. They will silence you. They will say bad things about you. Okay? Greedily after the era of Balaam. Now, what, what did he do? He wanted to preach against Israel for money. It's about the money in a lot of churches. And, and you said you're from Australia, right? You're going to understand when I mentioned Hillsong later on. Yeah, he's not. He's nodding. Yes, yes. I know all about them. I know what you're going to say before you say it. Okay? They do it for reward. Right? Money. And perished in the gainsaying of Korah. Now, who is Korah? In the Old Testament, you'll see it spelt with a K. Who was he? Do you remember the Moses, the Ten Commandments? The guy who was saying, let's go against Moses. Uh, against God's word, and let's do our own thing. Gainsay, going against, okay? Contradicting God. This person was doing it, okay? They'll perish. Perish means they're going to go to hell. <laughs> they're actually going against what the Bible says in a church. It's like, why put the cross outside, you know? Now, someone here probably knows who these people are. Do you know this man here? He's his father. Okay. His name is Frank. Now, Frank did some very terrible things to children. Okay. This is the guy who started the Hillsong Church. That's his son. Okay. He knew about it. And kept it quiet with money. The error of Balaam, money. Okay? Now this guy founded the Hillsong Church. Okay? Could have been more forthright why Frank was standing down. Could have been more forthright. You should have gone straight to the police. And he should be in prison. If he's your father, let me tell you something. Jesus said... You can't love me. You've got to hate your father. Hate. Now, it doesn't mean you've got to hate your father or hate your mother or hate your people. What he's saying is if they turn evil, I go before they do. I'm more important. The righteous thing is more important. Immediately, he was standing down, not thrown in prison. <laughs> he was standing down. He stood by the decision not to report it to the police. It puts more children in danger, right? I believe we did the right thing. I personally did the right thing. No, you didn't. You sold out for money. That's Hillsong. Within a year, he learned of more allegations about his father. However, he still didn't go to the police. He told the court he didn't think Frank was a danger to the community because he was 82 and the offending was historic. Let me explain something, okay? This is a horrible thing to talk about in the church. But there's a biblical punishment for people that do stuff to children, and that's drown. And those are the words of Jesus. Let me tell you something. If someone's 82 and they've done something wrong, the age doesn't... So what? <laughs> it's historic. What's he say? Oh, that's in the past now. This is a terrible, evil person. And let me tell you something, if you cover up, if you cover up for, for, the, for evil, you're guilty of the same crime. And they say, Mario, Mario, it's a terrible subject. Tell me loving things. <laughs> let me tell you something, warning you is loving. Okay? Warning you, protecting you from the evil is my job. Exposing the evil is my job. Telling you the right way to do things. That's my job. Okay? This is not Christianity at all. How dare you get up there and represent Jesus after what you've done? How dare you? Now, that's their church. It's a bit bigger than our church, isn't it? <laughs> Looks more fancy, right? 
it must be good if that many people are going. We should all go, shouldn't we? Never. We're not for sale. We are not for sale. Now, I don't care about denominations much, okay? But I do care about her uh, heretics. I care about blasphemy, and I care about the word of God, okay? This, these are the people that paid the guy. Their money funds the evil. Now, what do they do? They lie down on graves and soak up the spirits of dead people. Something forbidden in the Bible. Are, are they, I know they're from New Zealand, right? Have they got a place in Australia as well? They've got a place in Australia? Lots of churches. It just makes me mad. <laughs> I know that God's going to get them, isn't it? Okay, they decided they'd be invited to, his, to enter its restoration program. Listen to this punishment. The biblical punishment is death. This is Helsong's version. A restoration program. The guy who's done this to children. And he should refrain from preaching. Listen, naughty boy, you can't preach for 12 months and we're giving and give you counselling. How about prison? <laughs> How about something a thousand times worse? Okay. Then he was still, Frank, he was retired because we've got to keep it looking good. We don't want him to look bad, do we? It will make the church look bad. Were they a fake witchcraft way? So he was paid money to leave Hillsong. So all the donations from the people did what? Pay money to a pedo. How much do you hate this place at the moment? These are spots in your feasts of charity. Spots. Okay? You seem like a Christian, say, say Australia is Christian, for example. These are spots. They're things that are in perfection. They're making it not nice. Okay? Feeding themselves without fear. Does it seem like these people are scared of God? It doesn't feel like they've got any fear, does it? He didn't step down. He didn't, he didn't say, right, take me to prison. He didn't convert it. They've got no fear. Clouds they are without water. What does that mean? When you're a farmer, you want rain. I know you probably hate rain. I oh, know it's raining. You can't play football no more. Although that didn't stop us in England. We were crazy about football. And when it rained, we still went outside. Okay? They're completely nuts about football in England. Okay. But if you're a farmer, you want water. You've got all these fields. Please, God, let it rain. You want to be fed. You want to drink. But these people are clouds without water. They've got nothing to feed you. There's no good that comes from this place. They don't do any good. It's, they don't do charity work like people think. They don't help people like anyone thinks, like a church should. They just put it in their money in their pockets. Okay? I read, a, I read an article that said they get paid eighty to 100000 a year. Well, where does that money come from? That's, that's to be a member. Like, if you're part of the church team, you get paid 80000 a year. For doing what? Going to church. I, I, I don't understand. I, I never take money for preaching, ever. Okay? I'm not boasting or saying good things about myself. You know, I'm, there's much better preachers than me. But what I am saying is this. Getting paid that money to go to church, which you should be doing anyway, and giving up your time for God. You could have been out with the other people today, Wilma, right? You could have been out, you know, it's Sunday. It's my one day off. You decided to be in church. God bless you for that. Okay? Whose fruit wither it. All the stuff they say, all the advice they give you is complete rubbish. Without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. It's complete rubbish, the stuff that they say in the Hillsong stuff. You'll never hear hell. They'll never talk about hell. They'll never talk about... <laughs> They'll never talk about repentance. There's, you're very, very rarely... This is the only church I've ever been to. I wasn't always the pastor. This is the only church I've ever been to where they told me to repent. What does that say about the other churches? What did Jesus keep saying? Repent. Jesus spoke more about hell 
than he did about heaven. Why? To scare us. Half, yes, but half to save us from it. It's like you're saying to someone, watch out. I, what does what your dad say to you? Don't run into the road. Careful, the cars are going to hurt you, right? He's not saying that because he hates you. <laughs> He's saying that because he loves you and he doesn't want you to get run over. Okay? Raging waves of the sea. Okay? Just They just say anything. Just foaming out their own shame. These people boast about this stuff and, and stuff like that. Wandering stars, to whom is reserved what? The blackness of darkness forever. Thank you, God. Because they might not get punished enough on earth, I guarantee you they'll get punished enough by God. Okay. They're murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust. Their mouth speaks great swelling words. How many times have you heard name it and claim it? And um, prosperity gospel, you lot got that over there, right? We got it here as well, would you believe? Name it and claim it. God's a wizard. And every time you say, Kazam, you, you, let me tell you something. God doesn't serve me. I serve him. If God doesn't give me something good, that means it wasn't good for me. I don't want God to give me whatever I want. I will be corrupt. That's what Satan offers you. Behold all the kingdoms of the world. I want God to give me what I need. God knows what you need, he says. Not what you want. People get that confused. But these people believe in black magic and wizardry. I'm going to show you. Okay? Speak. Okay, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage in... It says, they said in the, uh, it was difficult to speak out. The nine victims, it was difficult for them to speak out because it was a powerful family, rich, money. You're going to buy a few policemen, a few judges, get out of a few problems. Okay? These be they who separate themselves. Now, this is what we're going to talk about today. Sensual, having not the spirit. Now, what's that mean? We've read that before, right? Sensual, not having the spirit. How many times have you heard the worship songs? How many times have you heard worship songs where they replace Jesus with their boyfriend? Sounds weird, doesn't it? Jesus, you're so beautiful. And you're... Hang on a minute. Did people worship Jesus like that in the old days? No. Jesus, just your... Stop. That's not how Jesus was being worshipped. My Lord and my God, they said to him. Things like that. They got on their knees. Jesus, thank you. You cured my child. Thank you. You did this. Bless you. You know, truly this was the Son of God. The songs today are very creepy. <laughs> the contemporary music, it freaks me out, especially from hell song. Okay? Uh, here's one of them. Learns. Who's heard that song? What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. Let's, let's look into that one minute. Sensual, not having the spirit. Now, if you saw a tap at your house and this was coming out of it, would you use it as a source of drinking? Would you, take, would you drink from this tap? No chance, right? Okay? I'm not going to do it. So when I see Hellsong and all the stuff that was behind them, and the guy that started it was a PD. Okay? I'm not going to listen to anything I have to say. It's the same with Islam. It's moral advice from a pedophile. Why would I listen to Islam for? It's pointless. It's a, a corrupt source. There's no point. I'm not going to drink from that. I'm not, not going to waste my time. Okay. Let's look at that, that song. Oh, beautifully. The name is just so beautiful. Does that sound sensual? It does, right? What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ. What a beautiful. It seems like nothing compares to your name. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. Let's look at the next verse. Because they creep it in there. They, they creep it in there. And you're singing and the words are up. The words are up. So you don't want to... You know, everyone else is looking, oh, I better carry on singing it. You didn't want heaven without us. What? 
So Jesus, you brought heaven down. Does anyone remember that happening? <laughs> I don't remember that happening at all. Except with witchcraft. Who's heard that song, Heaven is a Place on Earth? You've heard that, right? You've all heard that. Oh, heaven is... Let's have a look. My sin was great, your love was greater. That sounds good. What could separate us now? You brought heaven down. Is a disgusting thing to say. Jesus never brought heaven down. Satan was cast out of heaven. It's Satan worship. Very, very subtle. Very, very difficult to spot. Very difficult. Now, you brought heaven down. Kicked off that song. Who remembers this? Heaven is a place on earth. My cousin Tony was the one that explained this to me. Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. So I looked into it a little bit. And let's see what I found. I came home one day from a friend's house. Holding a book like it seemed it might help me change my life. A friend gave her this book. I hid it under my sweatshirt, went straight to my bedroom. I felt a tingle of excitement, slipped out, looked at the cover, the satanic Bible. Find some of that. I read bits and pieces, though I understood very little of the author's rant against Christianity. He hates Christians, the author, obviously. I focused on terms like exorcism, evil, black magic, thinking I could find out how to cast spells and take control of my life. Harry Potter stuff, right? Just as evil, making witchcraft look good for children. Get that stuff away from my children. Ah, behold, I'm against thee. Now, I'm going to read this out and then I'm going to explain. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. Morning, morning. Did you forget the little one? <laughs> He's coming. Okay, that's his dad, all right. Concern of her, as though some strange thing happened to you. Listen, guys, you've got a fight on your hands, okay? But I don't want you, we, you're sitting right under the air conditioner, that's why. <laughs> some strange thing, stop. Don't worry about being in this weird fight that you're in. But rejoice, inasmuch as you're partakers of Christ's <laughs> sufferings. That when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. You fought for Jesus. You will have exceeding joy at the end. I guarantee it 100%. I can't guarantee that I'll get up tomorrow. I can't even guarantee that the sun will come up tomorrow. But this I guarantee 100% because it's from God. Now, I was in the same situation with this Larry Speedy from Greater Grace. I went to Nicosia and I said to them, this guy's a pervert. He performs sex acts in front of people. They said to me, uh, open the door for them. Open the door for them. I think that was they were coming in. I really have got to fix that handle. Okay, so. And I said to these people, I said to them, one of your priests is a pervert, I said to them. He says to me, what's your position in the church? Did you hear what I said? <laughs> Did you hear the words that I, that, that I just spoke to you? There are two witnesses, three, four at the time. Will you not listen? Well, it's important for us to forgive. You see, it's always your fault. It's not their priest's fault. It's your fault for not forgiving. And they wondered why I didn't want to join them. Why I didn't want to be part of this thing. I want nothing to do with evil. I will fight you. Behold, I'm against you. And if all of you fight against me, God is with me. And they boasted to me, we know policemen, we know judges. I said, I know God. <laughs> I trumped my, my dad's bigger than yours. <laughs> you did run well. Who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? So these people that go to these churches, a lot of them are Christians and they were misled. They were diverted away. They stopped them, hindered them, that they should not obey it. 
This persuasion comes not from him that calleth you. God isn't the one leading you this way. Okay? This weird doctrine that they have isn't from God. And they're saying a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. And I need to explain that. Christianity is really simple. Okay? Forget what, what people tell you. It's the simplest thing in the world. Repent and you'll be saved. Mario, you, you mean, but what about, that's all you need. I'd love to tell you it was more complicated, but I've read the Bible cover to cover a few times. It's, it's not harder than that. What makes it hard? A little leaven. People that add rules to bulk it up a little bit. Okay? All you need to eat is that much, a little biscuit. But they'll turn it into a five-course banquet. You have to eat the whole five-course banquet. No, you don't. They're adding a little bit to grow Christianity. Suddenly, you need their leaders. Suddenly, you need... And I remember speaking to this girl. She says to me, uh, I've come here for deliverance. I said to him, you don't need it. Let's pray. I need to be delivered. Don't you want to put your hands on me? I said, not really. Why do I need to put your hands on you? They told me that you, they need to put their hands on you. I said, they're not real Christians. <laughs> I doubt what they are if they wanted to put their hands on you. So here's the thing. All these extra made-up church things are a waste of time. If we swapped the way we did, we do communion what, once a month, right? If we started doing it at the beginning of the service instead of the end, what difference would it make? Zero. <laughs> Do this in remembrance of me. It didn't say at this time, at this time. Christianity is really easy. And you'll be shocked at how easy it is to be close to God. One prayer, bang, like that. I'm in trouble. Call out the name of Jesus. The people I told, they said to me, I'm having nightmares. I said to you, call out the name of Jesus. Then sing a hymn to God. They said to me, you're right, it went away. It's not because I'm clever, trust me. I have confidence in you through the Lord. The same way I have confidence in you. Okay. That you will be none otherwise minded. You won't think like these people. But he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment whosoever he be. Whoever. I've got this really high position in the church. And. <laughs> it's a fake church. <laughs> If I wanted to win a fight, you know, I'd start a fight with a load of two-year-olds. That's not it. I'll go out into the world on behalf of God. Take on the best of the best. That's my fight. That's my kind of fight. I'll take on these fake churches that are a million times bigger than me. All day. I would. Now, notice this. Paul is saying this. I would that they were even cut off which trouble you. I hope these people die, he said. Paul, Paul never said that. Yes, he did. That's what cut off means. You can try and put a soft version of it. You see, you, you, and the people watching this video are not for sale. You're not for sale. We don't take money to go to a thing. The Jehovah's Witnesses offered me loads of money to join them. I remember they said, you can make good money with us. <laughs> I won't repeat my response in front of children, okay? <laughs> it's not for children's ears. But the point is this. We are not for sale. Buy the truth. We've got the truth. It's not for sale. Sell it not. We don't sell out God for any money. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Which brings us to the next part of the sermon. Stay with me, church. Oops, wrong way. Now, I promised you last week that I would show you witchcraft in the churches. Who knows what that symbol is? It's a tricretra, a witchcraft symbol. <laughs> What's it doing on the new King James Bible? They say, wait, it's the Trinity, the symbol of a Trinity. When did the Trinity ever have a symbol? Never, right? 
Never had a symbol. Now, there's former Satanists that came to Jesus. Very famous ones. Bill uh, uh, Schnub, I can't say his name. Okay? Bill German name. Okay? Came to Jesus. And he showed us the three sixes that were in the symbol. Now, if you're part of them, you have to express 666. Now, with a witchcraft symbol on the Bible, would you trust this Bible? Or anything that comes out? It's a corrupt water source, right? It's like drinking out of a sewer. It's completely untrustworthy. Let's have a look what it says. Let's do an example. Remember, I've compared all the Bible versions. I've got them all. Okay. Divination is on the lips of the king. Horoscopes. Things like that. What's banned in the Bible? Divination. You are not allowed to speak to the dead. You're not allowed to do your horoscopes. You're not allowed to go to a mind, a uh, psychic, what are they called? Mind reader? The crystal ball people. <laughs> Mystic Meg. <laughs> Mystic George will tell you all about your future for two euro. <laughs> you don't have euro over there. What do you have? Dollar? Dollar. Two dollars. And Mystic George will tell you everything about your future. Divination is wrong. It is not in the lips of a king. The word is a divine sentence. A divine sentence. Let me tell you something about the Bible when it tells you to, to listen to the king and stuff. It means a king appointed by God. Not any king. When the Bible tells you to obey your government, it doesn't say that. It says those appointed by God. They've changed it. You get to see, don't worry. So, this is the real King James. Now notice what they've done. There isn't a new King James. King James wasn't born again. Like into, he was born again, but he wasn't, you know, he wasn't resurrected and wrote the Bible again. No. I've checked the translation. The divine sentence is correct. Okay. Now, they say it's just a newer version. It's not. Watch. I perceive that in all things you are very religious. Now, very religious is good, right? That's not what Paul said. Sorry, you know, yeah, uh, Paul, it is what Paul said. Sorry, it's not what Paul said. What he actually said was this. You men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. Now, we still have this in Cyprus. You Hear me out, Marie. Do they touch on wood still? <laughs> I'll knock on wood. You kid, my kid's all right, knock on wood. What's the wood going to do? Nothing. You're too superstitious. I have to chuck salt behind me when I'm cooking. Why? <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. Let me explain something, right? This is completely different. It says the exact opposite. Let's do the next one. A man that is a heretic, the Bible says, the real Bible, after the first and second admonition, reject him. What does the fake King James say? Reject a divisive man. It's actually telling you to reject Jesus. Watch. A subtle change. Remember, the devil was the most subtle, it says in the Bible. Oh, uh, does she need help getting in? Okay, now she's all right. Okay. What did Jesus say? I didn't come. Suppose that I'm come to give peace. Of, nay, I tell you. I'll, uh, but rather division. Jesus come to divide people. I want the holy people this side, the unholy that side. Okay? I've come to divide the people. Dividing is not a bad thing. That's why we have prisons and stuff. Okay? Look what they've done. They've told you to reject Jesus. Reject a divisive man. It's very subtle. Very difficult to spot. Okay? A heretic you should reject. Definitely. Now, let's go to the next one. Are we servants or slaves? A slave is forced into labor, right? We're not, we're not forced into this. Is anyone forced to come to church today? Did someone beat you and tell you you have to come? No. We're servants of God, so we came. 
because we wanted to. We're servants. The New King James, you're slave of God. Sounds bad, right? Sounds very, very bad. What is the word? Dulo in Greek. Dulo can mean servant or slave. They chose the worst of the translations. Why? The law means to serve. I serve you a cup of coffee. I law you a coffee. Okay? It doesn't mean... That means waiters and waitresses are slaves. A civil servant is a slave. It's not true. A, there's a massive difference between a servant and a slave. And they always try and make look God, God look bad. Let's go to the next one. Now, being made free from sin and become servants to God. Sounds okay, right? We're free from sin. Now we decide to serve God. You have your fruits of holiness to the end of everlasting life. What does it say? You become slaves of God. It sounds awful, doesn't it? It sounds really bad. You can see how changing one word changed the whole meaning. Very difficult to spot. Very difficult. Mary, is that why you use the KJB? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to do some fake satanic Bible. Now, being same sex is wrong. The Bible says it's wrong. Everything says it's wrong. Okay? It doesn't matter if in school it's cool to be cool with that and stuff like that. It's wrong. If anyone asks you, it's wrong. I've got a member of my family who's that persuasion. I'll tell him it's wrong. And... He's come a long way, but he still hasn't, you know, not all the way there yet, okay? The Bible says Sodomite. Now, a ritual harlot. So you say to someone, being a ritual harlot's wrong. You say to him, okay, I won't, I won't be a ritual harlot. <laughs> no problem. I'll knock that on the head right now. Tomorrow I was going to be a ritual harlot, but now I'm not. It doesn't, it's not what this is about. This is saying Sodomites are wrong, Okay? Now notice, they actually know the real meaning. The Hebrew says Sodomy in their footnote. But who reads the footnote at the bottom of a Bible? Right? Next one. What does God tell you to do with idols? Depends which Bible you read. Okay? You can read the real one, the King James Bible, the proper majority manuscript Bible. Or you can read the new one, which they made to make money. You see, there's 150 Bibles now. 150. And they were all built for one reason, to make money, to sell the truth. Okay, so they changed it. There they left their images, and David and his men burnt them. You're supposed to burn idols. David and his men carried them away. Big difference. Big difference. Now, the Bible says, what is it then? I will pray with the Spirit, and I will pray with understanding also. How can I understand the Word of God if someone's polluted it? Or, and I go to a polluted church with a polluted thing. I don't want that. I want to go to a real church. I don't care if there's one person in the church. I don't care. I'll just let that one person tell me the truth. Okay? I will sing with the Spirit. I will sing with understanding order. So I want to know what I'm singing. I don't want this hell song music. Now, it's true. I don't get much involved in the music in this church. We've got our singers, both of whom are missing today. <laughs> okay? And we've got Maria, who very kindly gives up her time to do the music for us. Okay? It doesn't mean I'm not involved. When I see there's certain songs that I've banned, it's not because I'm being an ogre and a horrible person. It's because I don't want that rubbish in my ha in, in this church. I don't want it here. While I'm pastor here, you will never hear Hell Song. No, uh, who's those other people? Oh, what are they called? They're on stage, with instead of having a cross, they've got a picture of a stag with horns. What are they called? There's three of them. There's Hillsong, there's... Uh, oh, I can't remember. 
There's three cor massively corrupt churches. Like, I wouldn't have any of their music in there. I'm glad they're so forgettable. Now. Else when thou shalt bless with the Spirit, how shall he that occupieth the room of the unlearned say amen at the giving of thanks? Seeing he understand not what thou sayest. If I start preaching to you in Chinese, what have you got out of it? Zero. If there's someone at the front of your church speaking in an unusual tongue or a funny tongue that you don't understand, you've gained nothing. It's banned. The Bible says you can't do that. The, the congregation, now we have a problem like this in Cyprus at the moment. The Orthodox churches, not all of them, because they are starting to change. But the Orthodox churches start preaching in uh, Koine Greek. Why? The people don't understand what they're saying. So these people have given up. And, and, and the Orthodox services are really long. Trust me, I know. Some of them are like six hours long on Easter or something like that. So you'd sit there for six hours listening to a language you don't understand. And my brain's telling me why. Don't anyone else get this, I'm thinking to myself. I mean, there's loads of things I don't understand. Two-door cars is one of them. Why would anyone want two doors on a car that everyone has to move the seat? I don't understand that. I don't understand smoking or taking drugs. You're, put, you're paying someone a lot of money to poison yourself. It doesn't make any sense. And people are giving up their time because they want to listen to the word of God. And they're going there and you finally got them into a church. Now, this is a big thing. I wish I could get all of Cyprus into a church just to listen once. And you've got them there finally, and you're telling them in a language they don't understand, some ancient Greek. What have you, you've achieved nothing. <laughs> and I have preached in Pentecostal churches before. I have preached there. Okay, they invited me, I went there, I preached. But let me tell you something. I didn't partake in any of the Shalomahamala Bing Bang Bingo stuff that they do. Why? It's rubbish. It's just a dribble, blah, 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 blah. And no one's understood what you said. How are they going to say amen? Everyone's going amen. I'm thinking, what did he say? Go on, tell me what he said. People, the most popular growing churches right now at Pentecostals around the whole world. Why? Two things. Same with, with um, Hellsong. Music. What was Satan? He was a church choir leader, right? He led the angels. Music is using as a weapon. And you have to fight back. You have to have good music as well. I've seen the lyrics of the beautiful stuff we've sung today, and it is beautiful. Save them from the fire, pull them out. You know, it might not be the ultimate rock, let's go, let's go. But notice it's about, fit. remember what I said about sensual? It's about being sensual, not the spirit. Uh, can we go back to that? Can you help me, Maria? There he is. Uh, Jude, Jude 1, 19. You did it. Nice one. Sensual. How does it feel? If you speak to a Mormon, what are they going to say to you? They're going to go, go, how do you know Mormonism is true? I felt it. I felt it inside. <laughs> I, hear, I hear this from all of them. The same with the Jehovah's Witnesses. I, I, I spoke to them because I, I meet them on the road and, and debate the hell out of them. He says to me, they, they, they say to me, it felt right. I met the leaders and it felt it's sensual. You're using your feelings. Let me tell you about your feelings. Do you remember um, Edom and his brother? And, and the father was feeling the hair. He says, you, you feel like uh, it, uh, you feel like Edom, but, you know, you sound like, and then, then, wait a minute, you trust what you're feeling. You trust your feelings instead of what you know. Never, ever do that. The Bible is what you know. It doesn't need changing. You don't need no one to explain it to you. It's good that you come to church. It's good that you see the pictures, you see the words, and, and, and I, I do what I'm doing. But let me tell you something. You don't need me to be saved. 
You can read the Bible to be saved. You don't even need the Bible to be saved. You can just repent and be saved. And that's how it is. When I said to you when, that, when someone gets the spirit inside them, the guy called me at 10.30 at night saying I wanted to be baptized. I, was, I hit the road. I was there. That's what he wanted. The spirit was inside him. Now, if you see people on TV, they say, I saw a beautiful angel. stuff. Like that. that was Satan that you saw. But he came in a beautiful white light and I felt, felt sensual. Now, these songs, how many times have people joined a greater grace cult, like I said? Why did the people join? Right? They joined because they said the music gave me a feeling. You can see Satan was behind it. When they go to Hillsong, the, 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 the music lifted me up. Any music can lift you up. <laughs> but I need to understand what they're saying. If I say, uh, uh, can you go to the last one again? Sorry. I'm really sorry, Marie. Okay. I need to understand what they're saying in that music. If I hear Highway to Hell, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> he's singing about being on a highway to hell you should be crying about that not singing about it okay so let's pray my God in heaven I pray for strength for all Christians to go to the right church Lord break the yoke of these people through the music that they do let them not trust the music but trust you let them not trust the pastor, but trust you. Lord, leave it. always keep one good church, Lord, that people can go to, so they have the option. Lord, break the power of these, the hold they have over these people. Give us all the spirit of understanding and discernment. May your name be praised forever and no one else's. Amen. Okay, for those joining us online, have a blessed week. Uh, Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next week.